eight minute core and ab workout today. Hi, I'm Gabby. Welcome back to Taylor Toe and YouTube channel. This workout is going to help to sculpt and define your waist. It is follow along and completely equipment free. I'm wearing socks and using a mat today, but you can have bare feet, you can have socks, you can have trainers, just as long as you've got something underneath your knees like a carpet or a mat. If you've not already hit subscribe, go ahead, do that right now. My channel is full of equipment-free workouts and they are really easy to follow. There's gonna be a timer at the top of the screen so you can see how far you are into each exercise. Today, each exercise is gonna be 45 seconds long with a 15 second breather and then straight into the next exercise. But don't worry, it is easy to follow along. If you've got any comments afterwards, drop them down below in the comment section or anything you'd like to see. Let's get straight into it. First thing you're gonna come into is an inchworm. We're gonna take your inchworm in five, four, three, two, one, go. Walk your hands all the way out, hold the plank position, walk the hands back in, roll all the way out. So you're just walking the hands out, finding a plank, pulling the core nice and tight, and back up again, making sure you're bending your knees as you walk, and bring it all the way back in. Keep bending those knees. Let's warm up the body, let's warm up your waist, your abs, your shoulders. Everything is getting warm. Walk the hands back in again. Keep breathing in. Keep breathing out. Okay, you got 15 more seconds. Here to go. Whew. Hands go out, hands walk all the way back in. So after this, remember you got a 15 second break. During that 15 seconds, I will show you what's coming next. Two, one, break there. So you got 15 seconds off. On the screen right now is gonna be the next exercise. So you're gonna take that step out combination. Bringing yourself starting in a tabletop position, eye line down, the navel squeezing in nice and tight, tuck the toes under, lift up. Let's go. So you're walking out, walking back in again. Now you want to press your shoulders over the top of your wrist. And you also want to keep your core super, super tight. Now also try not to let your hips move anywhere. The belly button stays nice and tight up towards the spine. The abs and core stay engaged and you are just stepping those feet backwards and forwards. We've got 15 more seconds here left to go. This is really great for toning your shoulders as well, getting you to do some nice definition through those arms. We can do this. You have another six more seconds here, then a 15 second breather. Keep on going. Two, one, break there. Next up, you've got that combination, tapping the shoulders, tapping the knees, feet walk back, feet walk in again. You can do it. Breathe in, breathe exhale, let's go. In two, in one, tap, tap. Knee, knee, walk back, walk in. It's a burner, tap, tap, walk out, walk in. Now try not to let your hips move. They will, but the less you let them move, the more you're gonna really get in towards your abdominals and make the change you want to your waist. Now you switched on this video for a reason today. You're like, yes, I want to change my body. So let's do it. Let's commit to the workout. Tap the knee, tap the knee. Backwards, back in again. 10 more seconds here, left to go. In, we've got it, five more, you can do this. Tap, Whew. in again, break there. Next up, we're keeping it simple, no combination. Just going into that full round plank position. Breathe in. Breathe out, exhale, it's so fun today. Forearm plank in three, two, one. Make it number 11, tuck the toes under, press the feet backwards, and we are gonna hold a forearm plank for 45 seconds. Now, so many people will feel this in their lumbar spine. That is because you either need to lower the hips down, lift the hips up so you're in a straight line, or tuck the tailbone right under. So imagine you're squeezing your glutes together and you're bringing your hip bones into your navel. That should take the pressure off the spine and make this more about your abs and your core than using your lower back. We have this, shoulders over the top of the elbows. Keep going. We've got six more seconds. You can all do this. You've got four, three, two, one. Well done, break there. 15 seconds off. We're gonna repeat that whole circuit. You are halfway through. Well done, everybody. Safely lift yourself back up again. 
we're going into that inchworm position. So making sure you've got enough room. Three, two, one, go. Walking the hands out, finding that plank, all the way back in, bend the knees, roll it up. So it's all about that waistline. It's all about working your core. Transverse abs are working. Top layer of abs are working. Shoulders. Whew. Also should be getting a burn out here. One of my friends texted me when they were doing the workout, like, Gabrielle, is it supposed to burn my shoulders that much? Yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> Bring it out into a plank. Walking back in. All the way up. 15 more seconds here. We can do this. Out into a plank. Squeeze those abs in nice and tight when you find that plank. Imagine you are one straight line. You're a ruler. Head down to the toes. All the way back in. You've got this. And break there. Well done. 15 seconds off. We're going out into that. Stepping out position into a plank and then back in towards that tabletop. Hands underneath the shoulders. Shoulders directly over the top of those wrists. Tuck the toes under, let's go. Walk backwards, walk it. Every time you walk in, the knees, they are hovering off the floor. Try not to move those hips anywhere. You've got this, well done everyone, keep going. All the way out, all the way in, all the way out, all the way in. Feel those abs burning, feel them shaking. The more you burn, the more you shake. The higher your heart rate, the more calories you're gonna burn, the more fat you're gonna melt. The closer you are to getting that body you want. We've got this, my shoulders are on fire right now. We've got another 10 seconds here. We'll have to go. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Break that. We're now going into that combination move. We can do this. This is the hardest bit. And then it's gonna be your last exercise. We're going in four, combination, in three, two, one, tap, tap, knee, knee, back, in again. If you want this move even harder, you're nearly at the new work, workout, you're thinking, Gabrielle, that's not hard enough for me. Try jumping it back, in again. You don't have to, just an option. I'm gonna stay with that walk today. In again, tap, tap, knee, knee, Whew. Oh my gosh, my abs are on fire. Shoulders are on fire. Everything is burning, but do not worry. We literally have one more minute to go. <sighs> Out, in, we've got 10 seconds left of this. And then you're in a final exercise. Out, in, four, three, two, one. Oh. Okay, last thing, you're just gonna take a four round plank position. We can do this. So remember you're on a perfect forearm plank. Arms are in number 11, shoulders are over the top of the elbows, waistline is tight. Two, one, go. <sighs> Hold here. Now really think about your form. Shoulders over the top of the elbows. Maybe if you've got a mirror, double check that. You don't want your hips here. You definitely don't want them lower than the shoulders. You wanna make sure you've got one gorgeous straight line and you should feel it right through that abdominal wall into your shoulders. It should burn like crazy. Squeezing that navel in, your belly button is pulling in as tight as possible. Those abs are engaged. 15 seconds. And then we are so done with this workout today. 10 more seconds. Whew. We so have this. Just keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Well done, everybody. Just give yourself a little shoulder all around. A little shoulder all around. I'm just gonna take us through some stretches here. So you ache less tomorrow, bringing the hand across the chest, taking the head off to the side, a little shoulder stretch, arm stretch, other side, hand comes across the chest, arm loops under. And then bring the hand behind the back, and you just wanna lift the eye line to the ceiling, lift your heart up towards the ceiling, and you should feel a nice deep stretch through your abdominal wall, through the chest, just breathe. Come back through the center. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale. And well done in your eight minute core at ab workout today. And also don't forget about those shoulders, they really burn. Make sure you drop me a comment down below. Let me know how you found today's workout. And if you are raring to do something else, head back to my homepage. There's so many workouts on there. There's booty workouts, thigh workouts, there's arm workouts that are all equipment free. The stretching, warm up, cool down, whatever you want, head back there. Make sure you hit subscribe. I will see you again next time. Bye.